what's going on guys I hope everybody's doing good um, today we're gonna be doing a video about my solution of um, couch PC gaming with a, a living room setting with the big screen TV and all that uh, I've mentioned it in a couple of my other videos um, and finally getting around to doing it today so right here is where it starts this is the PC if you guys haven't seen the build video of this computer um, I did it like a year and a half ago it's one of my first videos um, it's an okay video not the best but it shows this thing being built um, basically it's got like an i9 9900k in it 32 gigs of uh, uh, DDR4 memory it's got a RTX 2070 in it that's basically you know what's going on there but uh, anyways where the um, living room solution starts is right here with this HDMI switch and the white cord you see there goes to my monitor here on the desk and the black cord actually goes through a hole in the wall behind the TV here now the other part is important uh, as well and it's these two um, USB extension cables and they do the same thing they go behind the TV through a hole in the wall behind the TV in the other room so that is to enable me to plug in two dongles one for my mouse and one for my keyboard so I can wire wirelessly um, play uh, mouse and keyboard games on the couch so I'm gonna take you in there and show you what's going on behind the other TV but basically what happens in here is it will be on this screen and then of course when I hit the switch button it takes it off of this screen and it puts it onto the screen in my living room so um, these things here these uh, HDMI switches I was unable to find the exact model but they go from 10 to 20 dollars for basically the same thing and these extension cables here were seven dollars each they're like Amazon uh, brand um, so let's go into the other room and I'll show you what's going on over there all right guys so this is in the living room this is on the uh, Samsung 70 inch QLED um, these TVs go for about $1,200 if you guys are interested highly recommend it because they have the ability to completely shut off the pixels that show black instead of just having like a false gray color they shut the black ones completely off so it's like true black color it, best looking TV we've ever had and everyone that comes in and uh, watches any movies on it they are always like what kind of TV is this but it's just been uh, a game changer literally but uh, behind here um, might be hard to see because of the LED set up here but uh, there is the dongles that come through the wall and there's the HDMI cable that comes through as well so I've got them kind of just hanging down right there and they receive signal just fine um, I did have them poking out of the bottom of the TV but as you can imagine that doesn't re look really hot um, went for kind of a floating TV thing here all of the wires and stuff for the console there and the uh, uh, disc players and whatnot go behind the wall so there's the dongles and then I'll show you the uh, mouse and keyboard I use and I'll show you how that I launch Steam how everything kinda comes together seamlessly there alright guys so this is the setup on the wireless stuff that I have here this is a Corsair Iron Claw wireless RGB and they go for $69.99 really uh, fast connection seamless whenever you set it up and it also has like zero lag and it's right on where it needs to be and this keyboard here is a Corsair K63 wireless mechanical keyboard uh, with the lap board it comes with 
and uh, those these are going for uh, $159.99 right now um, they're fairly old you can see this one has been used pretty heavily it's not the uh, spiffiest looking thing in the world right now but uh, you can see on the screen there I have control of the mouse and we just need to find steam here launch steam and we can go to library and choose our game do something where we can show the keyboard work and maybe some binding of Isaac and then hit play it'll launch it okay Isaac so there's the binding of Isaac on the big screen in the living room using a wireless keyboard and mouse. Yep. And that's how I do it. And uh, with games that require let me go ahead and pause this and with games that require a controller or not require but that you would prefer to play with a controller um, I use a wireless Xbox controller for Windows and those go for about uh, $90 and uh, that's I've been playing like uh, Resident Evil 6 or not Resident Evil 6 but Resident Evil Village I've cleared it like four times. I love that game, but uh, I've been that's what I use uh, when I need to use a controller. I just plug it into one of the dongle, um, one of the extensions, the USB extensions, and play right here on the couch. And uh, I can even put it in big picture mode, and I don't have to even bring the keyboard in. I can just put it in big picture mode, switch it on the HDMI, and then come in here and sit down with my controller. It's already connected, ready to go. It's on the screen. I have audio, video, everything goes through the HDMI cable. And uh, that's basically my setup, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative enough and uh, short and sweet and to the point. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Cap. Capper. Capper. Say bye bye. He doesn't care. <laughs>